Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So today we'll talk about something called as marker interface. Now, to, to focus on marker interface, you should know what is interface, okay? To know what is interface, we should know what is class. So we have a class. Class means it's just a blueprint to create objects, right? So in class, we have methods, we have variables, right? Now we can define those methods in class. So we have to define it. We have to give those curly bracket open, curly bracket closed, right? Now what is the interface is, it's same like class, it's same like class, but you have to go for declarations. So you cannot define your methods in interface, you can only declare those methods, right? So what we have is, in interface, you'll be having a methods which are only declared. So in class, we have something, right? We have definitions of methods. In interface, we have something called as, you know, declaration of methods. So when you declare those methods in interface, then you have to define those methods in class. So it's something like you have uh, interface. In this, you'll be having a method called as show with declaration. It's only declaration. Now you have to create a class. Now you have to extend. You have to you have to implement. You have to implement this interface in this class, and you have to define this method. So this method will be defined by this way. So you have to define this method. So you have an interface, you have a class, you have to implement your interface in this class. So we have a method show, which is declare, which is also called as abstract declaration. In this, we have defined. Okay, so in class, we define. Now let's suppose I have an interface, I have an interface, but in this interface, we don't have any method. No methods, zero methods, okay? So that interface is called as marker interface. But question arise, if we have, excuse me, I get something wrong. It's my PC. Antivirus, no? Okay. Come back, come back. So if we talk about this marker interface, we have an interface without any declaration. Question arise, why we need an interface without any declaration? Right? So for this, let's focus on this concept now. So our main question is why? Why we need marker interface? So answer is. Okay, so answer is now let's suppose you have a class. We have a class called as uh, demo. So we have a class demo. Okay. Now in this class, in this class, I have a method called as show. Clear? And it's void show. Simple. Now, void show, I want to just print here. It's hello. So I want to print it's system.out.println hello. So what I have is, I have a class demo. In this class, I have a method show. Now to call this method, to call this method, I have, we require a main function, right? So I have another class in which I have, I have creating a main function. So it's psvm public static void main. Uh, it will be string a again main method required some parameters. Now in this, in this, if I want to call this method, I need to create object. Oh, what I'm done? Yeah, we have to create object of demo. So it's demo obj equal to new demo. Okay, so it's new demo now. Okay, so we have an object called as obj. Now what I need is, I don't want everyone, you have to, uh, I don't want to print this hello. I need some permission. So if you have a permission, you can print hello. Now question is how to assign a permission, right? I have to assign those permissions to this class. Okay, I have to assign the permission to this class so that I, I can print hello. Now for that, I need to create an interface, right? To create an interface like interface P and this P is not normally permissions you can say. So interface P, I can you, you can use any name here. And in this, I'm not going for any declaration. It's blank, okay? So we have an interface P with blank declaration. So no declaration. Still I'm implementing, still I'm implementing this P here. Okay, no declaration. Still, I'm implementing it so that I can check if any class implements P 
then we can call those methods. So to check, to check, to check this, we have to use a keyword called as instance of. So using this keyword called as instance of. Now, instance of what? P. So you can check if this object is instance of P. Because when you create object of the class, you are indirectly creating object of this interface, right? So if it is instance of P, then we can call show. So it's obj dot show. Otherwise, otherwise, if you say else, we have to print its SOP. We will printing no permission. Simple, right? So how it will work? You have an interface P with blank declarations. You have a class demo. So let's suppose if I don't implement, if I don't implement, so it will check if OBJ is instance of P. If I if, if I don't implement, it will not be instance of P, right? So it will it will print else part. So it will be no permission. But if I'm going for implements P, it means it means I have implemented this P. So I'm checking. So OBJ is instance of P. Yes, interface, right? So obj is interface of this p. That's why we can call obj.show and it will print hello. Okay. Now the examples of this uh, class, like you, you can use, there are lots of interfaces. One is one of them is serializable. So using this interface, you can give permissions to an object so that it can be saved. Or if you can save the state, you can save the state of an object. Or that's called as serialization you might be knowing that concept right so we have an interface called serializable then we have a interface called as remote so using remote interface you can uh, you can you know you can create remote objects you can create those remote you know rmi objects so you can create those remote objects and i guess there are lots of uh, other interfaces also other you can you can use those google you can use you can search google search and you can use some you know, markable inter markable marker marker interface in Java. So I hope you understand this concept. If you have any doubts, please comment. You know, and please subscribe. Please subscribe for further videos. Thank you so much.